Lockheed Martin, Gibson Cox, Bollinger Shipyards, and Marinette Marine have been participants in the U.S. Navy's littoral combat ship program since inception and each contributed to the development and selection of the team's LCS concept. Prior to coming together behind a mutually selected optimal C-frame concept, each team member had explored a variety of alternatives. Of the 18 proposals submitted for the concept study phase, the Lockheed Martin LCS team collectively received and executed three of the six LCS concept study contracts awarded by the U.S. Navy. After an extensive engineering evaluation, the semi-planing monohull had scored best on a requirements-derived C-frame performance index and was selected as the best alternative for the LCS C-frame. The selected hull form is the culmination of more than 30 years of experience, dating back to research performed by Donald Blount while he was a NAVC employee and before he established a world-renowned naval architecture firm in Chesapeake, Virginia. After 20 years of maturation and over 30 different projects, the advanced semi-planing hull form was selected by Bravo Romeo, a team competing for the Blue Ribbon Transatlantic Speed Record Trophy. Built by Fincantieri, one of Europe's leading shipbuilders and a recognized leader in the construction of high-speed ships, developed new construction techniques for Destriero to ensure the ship could manage its 65-knot top speed in North Atlantic sea states for which it was designed to transit. Launched in 1992, Destriero was subjected to an extensive array of testing prior to attempting to unseat the SS United States, the renowned Gibbs and Cox design passenger liner transatlantic record held for over 30 years. That same year, the 1,000-ton Destriero succeeded in setting a new speed record that still holds today, despite being challenged by a variety of multi-hull designs over the past 11 years. During this crossing, Destriero hit a top speed of nearly 65 knots and sustained an average speed of over 53 knots. Encouraged by the impressive speed and seakeeping of Destriero, Fincantieri launched a commercialization program that led to the development of the Jupiter class of fast ferries. To date, five of these 42-knot, 3,000-ton ships have operated successfully in commercial service. By bounding the design by both Destriero at the low end and the Jupiter class ferries at the high end, the Lockheed Martin LCS design significantly reduces design, construction, and production schedule risk by sharing technologies and lessons learned across a number of areas, including hull form, structural components, prime movers, water jets, and other HM&E areas. After completing the 21 months of trade studies, reviewing 12 design alternatives, completing three U.S. Navy concept studies, and executing a preliminary design contract, the Lockheed Martin LCS team will submit its proposed Flight Zero LCS design to the U.S. Navy on April 7, 2004. Our design is a high-performance modular C-frame that provides the U.S. Navy with a platform that meets or exceeds all critical design parameters. LCS is a highly capable platform with a number of innovative design features. LCS's fine entry and flat aft sections hydrodynamically lift the ship from the water at speed, providing substantial drag reduction for a high sprint speed and efficiency. LCS also possesses substantially better loiter seakeeping than conventional monohulls by incorporating a lower center of gravity and a greater beam to length ratio than traditional Navy monohulls, providing significantly more transverse stability for flight operations and unmanned vehicle handling. LCS's comfortable and predictable dual axis roll, more natural roll period, lower pitch acceleration, and minimal slamming will be more sailor friendly than the multi hull and surface effect alternatives. The form is simple to construct and strong, supporting fast, low cost construction techniques. It also allows for lower cost materials and minimizes the potential for stress cracking found in multi hulls, enhancing service life and lowering life cycle costs. NSWC's Carter Rocks model test data verifies predicted performance calculations and increased design confidence. 
LCS incorporates advanced signature and weight reducing composites for specialized applications. To reduce cost and risk, these applications are limited to those where the performance, cost, and risk trades warrant. LCS's engineering plant and water jet propulsors provide a truly transformational capability. This combination delivers substantial power into the water, provides faster acceleration, vectorable thrust, instant reversing, greater slow speed turning, shallower draft, and greater safety for spec ops operation and waterborne vehicles. LCS possesses a highly capable Navy open architecture based C4I suite that is fully integrated into the C-frame self-defense systems that includes a robust electronic warfare suite, the rolling airframe missile, and advanced electronic warfare decoy systems. LCS is equipped with a forward reconfigurable weapon zone that can accommodate a variety of offensive and defensive weapons, including guns and missile launching systems. LCS was designed with low observability in mind. It features thermal RF and magnetic signature suppression technology. Stern doors, a large reconfigurable well deck area, a common semi-automated module handling system, and access to interiorly stored support modules will robustly handle current and future waterborne modules and spec op operations. Our flight deck is one and a half times larger and our hangar is over twice the size of today's air capable ships. This combined with an improved handling and stowage means it possesses substantially more capability than a ship class that cost more to build when they were constructed 20 plus years ago. The Lockheed Martin LCS team will submit its proposed Flight Zero LCS design to the U.S. Navy on April 7, 2004. We fully recognize the importance of delivering a fully capable lead LCS ship on time and within budget and look forward to partnering with the Navy to successfully produce the new class of combatants to fight in the Latours.